Welcome to Nerds in a Bar, New York Toy Fair edition. We are here at Jack Dempsey's in New York City for Toy Fair 2020, and we're sitting here with the loyal subjects, Jonathan, Kathy. What's I, up, y'all? Did I pronounce that right? Yes. Yeah, so some people try to put like the French accent Cathay. on it, but it's actually Irish. Oh, okay. So. Good. Those Kathy. So I'm the Gilness. Batman Mark. Database Rob Hall. We are Nerds, Nerds in, in a, a Bar. bar. And here we go. Woot, woot. Well, cheers to uh, Toy Fair 2020. Salute. It's almost it in a, the bag, gentlemen. Almost in the bag. Salute. It was a great Salute. time. Salute. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank we you. Were lucky enough to meet up with uh, Jonathan here. And uh, we had some great conversations at the booth. Came to an Irish bar and ordered a mezcal. There it is. Like a true Californian. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. Well, I mean, I went with, we went with Captain and Coke, so there's no game hey, at this table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a solid drink right there. <laughs> so we are actually here to talk about toys and the loyal subjects. So, cool. Rob, you've done some research. I know we wanted to, to kick it off with a uh, little bit of background and have uh, Jonathan kind of weigh in on that. So if you want to so take it away. It reads like a movie treatment. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to try and do this in the best movie trailer voice I can. <laughs> the first office was a humble living room. And the first warehouse, a garage, originally funded in 2009 by a $500 personal check and launched by Jonathan Cathy with a strong creative vision and a helpful hand from an old friend and a small roto-molding toy supplier in China, The Loyal Subjects has been on an indie journey through the asteroid fields of publicly traded companies, big business licensing, cutthroat competition, and big retail to find itself amongst the elite companies on the who's who of retailer shelves. Well, there you go. Coming this July. <laughs> in a world. In a theater know, near you. Really to start <laughs> in a world. In the toy store. Near hey, you. trust me. I, you know, some of some of it is sort of like movie-esque. Yeah. I mean, there's times I come back and I, I'm sitting around thinking, did that just happen? Right. <laughs> like I'm guessing like tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing by now whoever whoever wrote the five hundred dollar personal check got it back. Yeah, we, yeah, I think it's still out there, dude. <laughs> I think it's still out there. Oh no. <laughs> well, was that uh, was that over some uh, rum and cokes or? <laughs> yeah, I, I, it was probably over too many coffees and cigarettes back in the day, but yeah, well, there you you know, go. cigarettes be gone. So that's where it all began. Actually, no. I I quit smoking maybe 15 years ago. Okay. God so bless. we've only been around for 10. Yeah, so. That's right. Okay. So it wasn't quite... Coffee, coffee. for sure. Just coffee. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's where it all started. Huh? And then just Literally in my living room. In, a, in your living room. In my living room. Uh, old Charlie Chaplin development bungalow in West Hollywood. Uh, kind of walls were caving in, roof was falling down, <laughs> chimney literally cracking off, uh-huh. and uh, it's like, hey, cool, let's let's make some toys. Make toys. <laughs> no, I mean honestly, I was always a creative, so right. this is kind of. Now, were you always into toys though, from? Um, or was this something right now? No, I mean when I was a kid, I I loved GI Joe, I loved Transformers, I loved uh, Star Wars. You know, I'm was born in 74 so it was kind of that like first wave right. you know that uh perfect storm right. when first uh generation of Star Wars. and in the in this whole generation of guys that got like product merchandise from china so it's like when deng Xiaoping opened up china to the west and all these companies came in and you know these factories kind of bloomed up and people were making plastic goods yep. in china and you know the customers were american kids mm-hmm. you know we had commercials and tentpole movies and big marketing campaigns and you know we were all sort of part of that generation yeah. that bit on star wars and all that cool stuff right and we'd like to say that we lived it like we lived that time right yeah, yeah. there's no other time in i'm 10 years older than yeah, yeah you lived a little, little bit more yeah. <laughs> but yeah you're you're the guy that was like throwing us in the bushes <laughs> and they no, no, I, was, I was a nerd back then too i was the one getting <laughs> tossed in the bushes so. <laughs> yeah. but, i was coming to get you out <laughs> <laughs>